Yo, what's up, fam? Come check it out. So we got the big check right here. This is for our scholarship winner. So we're going to present this to her today. We also have a real check over there. Um, so I'm super excited. But check this out. We, we got her some Santa Santa t-shirts, custom made. Um, I asked her for her favorite snacks. We got her some snacks, uh, some beef jerky, things like that. And she's also going to get her own hoodie. So we're here. And as you can see, Santa Santa for HBCU. So one of the things that we're doing is, um, in addition to our scholarships, we're, we're primarily focusing on HBCU schools for African-American students. Um, what this does is it's economic development, economic empowerment for our students coming out of our impoverished communities. So we're very excited to you know be here today. This is my first time at PV, which is crazy because all my friends were here. Um, I didn't go to no parties, no homecoming, anything like this. So it's my first time here. I'm looking to you know get in a nice tour. I think we're right here in front of the uh, stadium. I don't know if this is the football or the basketball stadium. Um, we're gonna have a good time. Um, so I'm very excited to be here. And this is what we do. We like to deliver our scholarships in person. Um, it's a more personal feel for our students. We want to be able to create that relationship and not to drop off money. We want to be able to create that partnership so this is what we do this is what we're doing it for it um don't look for change be the change so y'all stay tuned i'm about to interview her shortly she's on her way down here now so i'm very excited to meet her Hello friends and family, Sanders Hand here. Today we're at the Prairie View A&M University. We're inside the John B. Coleman Library. And today we are delivering our scholarship to our 2022 scholarship winner, Miss Amina Washington. How does it feel? Thank you. It's amazing. Yeah. It feels great. Yeah, yeah. It's always great to, to meet our students, have conversations, and that's what we wanted to do. So today we drove from the city, about 45 minute drive to PV. It's my first time here. Um, I've never been to PV. A lot of my friends graduated from here, but it feels so good to be here. This is HBCU, uh, one mm -hmm. of the top HBCUs in the entire Absolutely. nation. Um, so it means a lot to come deliver this in person today. So once again, congratulations Thank for everything you. that you're doing. Um, I want to ask you, you know, before mm -hmm. we kind of get into your business, um, let's talk about your childhood. Like, mm -hmm. how, how did things start for you? So it started, both my parents were in the military, oh, actually wow, in the okay. Air Force, you know. <laughs> so I'm not really from anywhere. Mm -hmm. I moved a lot. I was born in Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska, on wow. a base. Okay. Yeah, okay. crazy, right? Wow. Then I moved to Maryland and lived in the city for a few years. Then I went to Dover, Delaware. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then I moved to Arizona, and then now I'm here. Wow, okay, yeah. okay. Out of all those places, what's your favorite place? Mm, gotta say Texas. Okay, all Everything's right. Everything's better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I never been to um, Arizona. I mm -hmm. haven't been in Nebraska, um, but they all those places sound cool. Nebraska Absolutely. sounds cold. So <laughs> I don't know how you do that. You know, Texas is different. Houston is a lot different. Absolutely, um, it doesn't get that cold out here. So that's amazing. You know, that, that's great. Um, how was middle school for you? Um, honestly, it kind of sucked. So moving around a lot, it's difficult to make friends yeah, because yeah. you know you think something's funny that. You, here from one place mm -hmm. and then you move to a new school the people don't really understand what you're saying yeah, and yeah. you just kind of look weird you know yeah, yeah. but you know i made some friends and then i realized in middle school that um you know my parents use their benefits mm -hmm. which respect that you know yeah, yeah. and i knew that i had to set myself up so that i go to college because i knew that that's something that was really important to me wow that's amazing so college was something that was talked about in your house since you was a, mm -hmm. a little girl basically yes that's great that's powerful um mm -hmm. i think it's important to have those conversations early because it sticks with you you yeah. know um having that conversation at, as a sixth grader you may not understand it but it's in the mm -hmm. back of your mind i want to go to college i want to go to college so Absolutely. as you went through middle school how was high school for you mm -hmm. so i moved to san antonio for my high school okay. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, to be honest. Yeah. I want to design, I want to have a business, I wanted to yeah. do computers. I, I didn't really know what yeah. to yeah. do. I couldn't decide. So um, my parents, being an ROTC, yeah. um, sorry, being in the military, yeah. made me do an ROTC. Oh, he's an ROTC? Yes. Wow. Salute you for that, because I couldn't do that. <laughs> it was, I actually did not like it at first. Okay. It was very difficult, mentally draining. It was mm. a lot of, you know, work, and it's something that I wasn't used to, yeah. you know? But within ROTC, I was able to meet different people, and some of my instructors actually urged me to wow. do some, you know, computer work. Wow. So I knew, you know, games, Pop yeah. Tropica, you know, yeah. cool math games, but I didn't really know much about computers and yeah. what that would entail. Mm -hmm. So I got into that, and I got into doing my own business wow. and um, making different things, yeah. arts and crafts, you know? Yeah. That's, that's amazing. And, and I think high school is the time for you to find yourself. Mm -hmm. um, in high school, you know, I wanted to be a rapper. So mm -hmm. I tried to try the route, it didn't work out. But I think in high school it's so important that you try so many different things. Mm -hmm. And I think that speaks to your character that the person that you are today, you tried mm -hmm. so many different things and you mm -hmm. gained so much experience. And Absolutely. now you're able to transition into being a college student. Mm -hmm. um, are you first generation college? I am not actually. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, and now going through college and starting your own business, mm -hmm. so many different things that you, you accomplished at a young age. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about your businesses. Like, okay. what, what was your first business that you started? Okay, so the first one was actually soap. 
So oh, my wow. sister has a lot of different allergies. Okay. She's like allergic to, you know, everything in the book mm -hmm. and it makes her break out in hives. Mm -hmm. And you know, obviously that's scary. I don't want to see anything yeah. hurt her. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let me try to make stuff that doesn't give her these allergic reactions. Wow. So um, I learned about making soaps. Mm -hmm. I learned about mixing mm -hmm. the scents and how people can be allergic to things like coconuts. Like I never would have thought that was possible, you yeah, know? Yeah, yes, yeah, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that type of like coconut oils in a lot of different beauty products mm -hmm. and um, other things like even milk. My sister's like really allergic to that. Mm -hmm. It seems like something that shouldn't bother you, but yeah. it does. So I was thinking, let me make a soap that she can use, that other people can use. I know have these really sensitive and big allergies, mm -hmm. so that they can enjoy the scents that they like. Wow, that's 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 leadership. That mm -hmm. that takes a different person to do something like that for their family. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to make soap. I did it in a chemistry <laughs> class in tenth grade. Uh -huh. Um, it smelled good, but I, I didn't want to use it. <laughs> I, I didn't trust it. Mm -hmm. But that's that's powerful. Um, that, that 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 shows the type of person that you are. Mm -hmm. Starting your first business, what are some things that you learned being a young person in business? Mm -hmm. Time management. Yeah. So obviously, I can't just not go to school. And mm -hmm. my parents are very big on education. Yep. So I knew if I'm gonna do this, I need to make sure I set aside time mm -hmm. to be able to experiment with my soap recipes. Mm -hmm study and stay on top of my grades wow that's important um time mm -hmm. management because at the same time you're young you got a lot of energy but you got to balance school Absolutely. you got to balance the business a lot mm -hmm. of different things um what are some things that, that that you feel like in the beginning that you would have known could have helped you when you first started mm -hmm. your business i would say uh the internet so at first i was <laughs> yeah. like i want to do this yeah but i just wanted to figure stuff out on my own mm -hmm. which is can be good in some regard but mm -hmm. if i'm doing something you know so many people have made different things before yeah. Yeah. so i should be able to learn and be inspired by what other people are doing yeah. so i can grow as my business yeah the knowledge gap right yes. that's important okay cool so you started your first business how old were you when you started this I would say 13. 13. You were 13? Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. that's, that's big. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you started at 13. When did the next business venture come? Okay, so as I was in high school doing Cyber Patriots, learning about cybersecurity, wow. learning about you know computers and mm -hmm. how they operate, mm -hmm. I realized that, okay, maybe I can use this knowledge to do mm -hmm. something different. Yep. So unfortunately, you know, there's been a lot of school shootings, and it's really yep. scary and yep. sad because you know parents send their kids to school to be safe and expect them to come home mm -hmm. safe. And I was thinking, how can I use my knowledge of having businesses and my knowledge of computers yep. to make something, yep. to make a difference? Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. um, that's important. And I, and I think you're touching on something important. When it comes to business, most successful mm -hmm. businesses, you have to become a solution to a problem. Yes. If you think about all the businesses that, are, that have been around since we were kids, sustainability, they found a solution um, and in a way to be a solution to the mm -hmm. problems. So I think what you're doing is you're attacking cyber, which is important because tech is everything now, yeah. right? The pandemic highlighted Everywhere. that. But school shootings, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's scary for a kid to go to school and mm -hmm. potentially it could get shot up, right? Yes. Um, so, you know, was, was that something that inspired you to say, hey, I want to do this? Or you say, you know what, I want to be the, the person, the first person to make this. Like, what was that calling moment for mm -hmm. you? Well, actually, in high school, like, we did an elementary, middle school and mm -hmm. didn't really, you know, I didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. But, like, um, my sophomore year in high school, I realized we were still doing these drills. We practiced, wow. you know, like, the school doors would lock and yep. we had, um, like, magnets to keep yep. it from locking. And mm -hmm. I was like... It's insane that, yeah. like, now, instead of, you know, preventing these accidents, we have to be accustomed to, if they happen, we wow. have a fallback yep. plan. Yep. So how can I do something? Because little kids, even high school, elementary, mm -hmm. they shouldn't have to worry about, you know, getting hurt, yeah. you know? Yeah. You go to school to be happy. Yes. You know, you want to you want to have a good time with your friends. You want to eat candy and things like that, right? <laughs> um, yeah. But you don't want to go to school and feel like, I may not make it back home. Mm -hmm. And as a parent, that's a that's a... A, a touchy mm -hmm. feeling you know I'm not a parent yet but yeah. I think about the uh, the way a parent thinks and so with you being a leader being an innovative thinker and entrepreneur mm -hmm. you attacking something like that you're going to bring so much peace and comfort to families um, especially what we just experienced in Uvalde mm -hmm. you know that, that, oh, that was yes. heartbreaking to see so close to home mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah, yeah yeah and that, that's not too far from San Antonio right mm -hmm. yeah that's um that's that that hurts seeing something like yeah. that um and, and and starting that and as you transition into college what was the next you know business thing for you like where are you mm -hmm. at today right now with your business today i've been doing a lot of programs and i'm working on what i have and how can i make code mm -hmm. so that i can just you know fix solutions for my wow. cybersecurity. how i want to keep kids safe at school i'm mm -hmm. still working on that and trying to improve mm -hmm. to you know expand on that because with you know like even like you said more internet um, mm -hmm devices and yeah. more devices that were on and more yeah. attacks and safety concerns i really want to make sure what i'm putting out there if i'm you know um, trying to help people i want to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to wow. so just working on 
actually you know had the idea now it's yeah. the process of prototyping yeah. that and that's great because a lot of people we have the idea and we rush it straight to market like mm -hmm. oh, okay i got this idea tomorrow i need to drop it but you're working on improving mm -hmm. the process yes. improving the system that way it Absolutely. can be the best that's the best way to do business right mm -hmm. it, it, you know success doesn't happen overnight mm -hmm. um and you're a big believer in that i can tell and yeah. so you're taking your time to grow and plant those seeds by the time you graduate and you get into your career you may already mm -hmm. have something that's been building up for the last five years yeah. and you're able to you know launch from that so mm -hmm. that's important that's that's exciting you know i can't wait yeah. to see what's next for you um so with all the business ventures you have and with us ha have your scholarship mm -hmm. what does this scholarship mean to you like what mm -hmm. what, what do you want to do with with the funds um mm -hmm. for the scholarship well i want to invest in my education yeah, of course okay. yeah, you know yeah. going to college is yeah. expensive and i also want to um a lot of the time i spend in school is spent studying mm -hmm. and you know having to do homework and paying for that you yeah, know yeah. and um i'm kind of at the point where i'm considering getting a job so okay. that i can afford it because i feel like a really important thing about having a business is you have to have money for it mm -hmm. so yep. that you're not coming out of your pocket to yep. where you can't live yep. you know and function yep. so i want to use it to you know a little savings so yeah, that yeah. as i'm prototyping as mm -hmm. i'm you know figuring out what i need to do mm -hmm. to make the, this invention pro possible mm -hmm. i have the money to support that mm -hmm. That's and, powerful. yeah Okay, cool. What is the name of the business? I'm sorry, I forgot to ask. Okay, so the soap business is Soulful Soaps. So. Soulful Soaps, okay. Yeah, gotta check that out. Is it on Etsy or anything? It's not. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I want to make sure I have mine. Gotcha. You know, all the stuff. Gotcha. It's coming soon. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned for it. Okay. Yes. But um, I just made for my family and stuff. Yeah. But um, for the uh, the school safety idea mm -hmm. that I have, mm -hmm. I don't really have a name for it exactly yet. Okay, that's I, mine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll get there, we'll get there. It's coming soon, it's coming soon. Y'all look out for Miss Washington. She's going to have something <laughs> big and dope for y'all. Um, but once again, you know, I'm proud of you. <laughs> you know, Thank you. the conversation that we had when I called you, I was like super inspired. I can hear the mm -hmm. passion. I can hear, you know, everything. And I was like, yeah, this is the person we want to, you mm -hmm. know, represent us. Um, and what this means is, you know, the Young Billionaires Club. This is a program, you know, we want to have students across the world mm -hmm. achieving generational wealth and success. Mm -hmm. I think when you hear the word billionaire, you think, yeah. oh, that's too much. I don't never want to get that. Mm -hmm. um, the, the success, it all comes in a mindset. Mm -hmm. You have to have the mindset that I can do this. Um, in our conversations that we've had, I can tell that you truly believe in yourself. You, you have a care for the community and people, Absolutely. and you're gonna go really far with that. Mm -hmm. um, when I heard you talk about the business, you said my sister. Mm -hmm. That's important because a lot of times we, we start a business because somebody down the street made a million dollars, so I feel mm -hmm. like I can do that. Mm -hmm. You probably can, but you're not thinking about people. Yeah. People is what make business successful. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and hearing you talk about your sister, then you went into the school shootings, mm -hmm. um, that's powerful because I can really hear that you care about people. You're gonna go really far with that. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, keep chasing your dreams, keep doing what you're doing, um, keep being a change. Uh, we need more student leaders like you, and I'm very excited to see, you know, what, what's, what's to come next. Uh, right now, you're a sophomore, correct? I'm actually technically a sophomore, but okay. I'm a freshman. Okay, oh, so you you ahead of the game yeah. a little bit. Man, she's ahead of the game. She got a business, man. Y'all better get like Miss Washington. Mm -hmm. um, that's amazing, right? That's amazing. Um, you have the ability to potentially graduate early mm -hmm. um, and, and really do some really good things for yourself. So um, on the behalf of Santa's Hand, we're going to be here forever to, you know, to, to, to lend that helping hand mm -hmm. and let you know they want to be here for support. Um, but once again, congratulations Thank you know, you. on being our scholarship winner. We're so excited. Um, I got this for you. Um, I asked you your favorite snacks. <laughs> you know, I love food and stuff. I actually stopped at Bucky's on the way here. So we grabbed some of your favorite things. Mm -hmm. you know, we got you two shirts as well. Some of mm -hmm. our custom made Be The Change t-shirts. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wanted to give you a little goodie mm -hmm. bag. Um, but once again, congratulations. Thank you so and much. You are a 2022 scholarship <laughs> recipient for our Young Billionaires Club, um, Miss Amina Washington. So we're going to present you with your big check from our team. <laughs> got a custom made for you. Put the logo on there for you. We got your name on there. And then that's your real check. So you don't want to lose that real check, right? <laughs> um, but congratulations once Thank again. You. Keep up the great work. Um, any last minute words you want to say to the people out there? I just want to say to anyone that you want to help someone, do it. Because it will make a difference. And just show people you care. Because I know you do. <laughs> for sure. And how can we support? For those that are watching this video, that's mm -hmm. going to watch this video, how can we support you in your business? If somebody wants mm -hmm. to donate or do anything like that, mm -hmm. how can we support you? Um, just inspiring words honestly because that motivation to push through because sometimes it's difficult and you get discouraged and you feel like what am, what's the point of anything but you don't always understand who you're impacting until mm -hmm. you hear it and wow. it can really make the difference wow that's crazy i want to ask you one last thing what is one quote that you feel like might have changed your life okay i'm gonna say from my dad okay me and my dad are really close yeah. he just always tells me that you can do like kind of like you know cliche but you can do anything yeah. that you put your mind to for sure and sometimes it feels like I can't accomplish great things because, you know, there's so much going yeah. against me, yeah. but I can. And that just reminds me, you know, there are people that love me and care about me and want to see me succeed. That's, that's powerful. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Uh, Santa San family, thank you so much for supporting us so we can support our students. Um, this is one of our scholarship recipients. She's a proud student at an HBCU. So it's very important that we take care of our community and we're pushing the culture forward through generational uh, wealth and success. So thank you all for the things that you do. Don't look for change. Be the change. Once again, congratulations to Ms. Washington. And um, be on the lookout for these two 
two businesses. We have a soap business that's going to come out, mm -hmm. and we're also going to have something that's going to prevent school shootings. I'm very excited. Um, she's the future, and we want to support <laughs> the future. Thank you all. I love these so much. They're so good. You like some gifts? I got some gifts. Um, okay. Got some gifts. He's literally the best. And you know. Yeah. <laughs> Friends and family, we just wrapped up our interview. We got a chance to tour PV for the first time. We got the whole team here. We got Kayla behind the cameras. We have our role manager, Alante. Um, it's been a great time, very excited. Right now we're at the Memorial Student Center uh, grabbing some pictures. Um, thank you so much for allowing us to come here today. Of Spending your Sunday, you could have been doing something better <laughs> and more fun, but thank you for allowing us to be here today. Once again, congratulations and keep thank all the good work. Thank you all for the support. And remember, don't look for change, be the change.